FG begins pilot implementation of National Livestock Transformation Plan in four states. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post how duty news update, please click on the notification bell. The federal government has announced that a pilot implementation of a National Livestock Transformation Plan, NLTP, has begun in earnest on the four states of Nasarawa Plateau. Kaduna and Adamawa. Dr. Andrew Kwasiri, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Agriculture, stated this in an exclusive interview with Daily Independent in Abuja. Kwasari explained that the federal government has started to develop pilot ranches in grazing reserves in each of these states. He revealed that pastures have been planted as well as water system created in these places with pastoralists and non-pastoralists working in free grazing reserves located in Awe Nasarawa, Wasi Plateau, and Gogunu Adamawa. He expressed optimism that by next rainy season, the herders would have settled in those places without moving their herds of cattle from one place to another. On the reason for the selection of only four states for the pilot project, Kwasari explained that they were selected to demonstrate to Nigerians that these can be done adding that other states will come on stream later. The senior special assistant to the president on agriculture expressed his belief that the next administration in Nigeria will continue with the implementation of a 10-year plan, adding that the plan was approved by the National Economic Council, NEC, chaired by Vice President Jamie Obasanjo. I mean, Jamie Usibanjo. Well, well, well. Um, well... In a way, I want to say this is actually good news. It is music to the ears for especially those who have been calling on the federal government to do something about the farmer and herder crisis. At least the farmer, at least, and with the people where they live around those areas now, Nasarawa and Co., it be like I said, they're going to get some relief when it comes to um, agricultural activities. Mm -hmm. It be like I said, they're going to give some of relief. Livestock with only full and cow, just change the headlines. Fulani government FG implementing for Fulani cow sentiment in the conquered state like Plateau, Adamawa, Nasarawa, and Kaduna. This is giving me something else. This is, I was thinking. <laughs> okay, let's let's reach for the shower. This fools think they can deceive anybody. Fulani terrorist government of bloody barriers cost and state will allow bloodthirsty terrorists to live with them. All these cows will die in one single day, and this Fulani must pay. Will the federal government employ the services of state residents to manage the affairs of the ranches? Exactly one, a very good question. My dear brother, they wanted to settle the headers there and take over all the lands. All this with our money. Are you really serious? <laughs> so, only cows qualify as livestock animals and deserve special invention of government. An egg is 100 naira today because chicken feeds are too expensive for commercial poultry farmers. Yet, your cow brain does not nudge you to intervene in that sector. I just pity communities of state that mortgage the safety of their citizens for cow ranchers. They should prepare their mind for government-backed genocide and displacement. I did not see it in this angle show. I was even thinking that it will tackle whatever. Huh. It will fail with it is very obvious that the government has a hidden agenda to take over land in these states for elders. Well, let us see how it all goes. I just hope that all this is just, you know, rumor. Why is President Mahmoud Bar insisting on giving the full and private business a national collaboration? Is he trying to force strangers on us? Someone should remind him that Nigeria is not Kenya. It lets, okay, it lets it be within the nothing and it will not come across the Easterners or Westerners said the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody is going spiritual with it. Somebody is saying this is great for Nigeria. I hope they will also have slaughterhouses for the export of meat products. Well done, Buhari. Me, I'm seeing this from an angle of hope, you know. You know, it is going to calm down farmer header crisis. At least farmers will go to their farms. That is the angle I'm seeing this from, you know, especially in this state. I did not think... And the angle of, anyway, let's just hope, let's be positive about it, that this will actually, you know, end the farmer header crisis, and at least it is going to be as a good advantage. Okay.
None from Kano, Christina, Kebi Sokoto. Why when an adage says charity begins at home? Well, I do not know. But you know, had it been the federal government has done it from Christina, a lot of people would have come out and say, Buhari is already preparing, we are in Google settling. Mm, so I think that's it. The government of Tory shooting right into advance that she had. Ha. A lot of people are saying it. Well, I sincerely just hope that all this way these people they talk, my man, just them um, thoughts and imagination, and it is not really that true. Okay. Sincerely, this thing that this person said, so only will a cow's livestock qualifies um and um qualifies livestock animals and deserves getting it they should look not just the cows themselves. If you want to go into agriculture, my own, what I was even going to say after, um, you know, encouraging them and saying, okay, then try is, hope it is not just going to be done to this, you know, father's alone. I hope it's going to be the whole of the agricultural sector. <laughs> because we all know that an egg, before you go to the market, you buy four eggs for 100, 100 as well, four eggs for 100 naira. And when I mean eggs, four eggs, that is very sizable. Then the one way big, you go see them. For 120 naira. Do you understand? Before you go to the market and you see them. But today, that money for four eggs is now one egg. Nigeria, which way? And I'm saying this, what of other things as well? What of goat meat? What of all those things? They should also put, I, the government should, you know, show that they care by, you know, show that it's not just, just like we've been hearing all in the comment section. People are saying, not only these people they give or, not only this uh, head has then give. Let it also be a thing of, you know, everybody is actually involved, as in all agricultural business are involved. Those that are doing something different from rearing of, um, what's it called, cut to and all that. Okay. If an animal is bringing so much shit to the lives of Nigerians, it means we should check our sanity. Hmm. Dr. Andrew Pastor, that is how the rule by using a Christian man as a willing tool to achieve the evil agenda. Let it be limited in nothing. Exactly, that's my own. They should do this for them. Anybody where a person gets, and like I said, apart from doing this for them, they should also do this for agricultural businesses as well. Do you understand? <laughs> if person the rear pig, those who are, yes, person the rear pig, person the rear um, goat, ram, all those things, they should also do something like this for them as well. You understand, so that it is going to be balanced. You understand? Uh -huh. We all know cow is for full and headers, but you know, the people who are into um, anim other animal owners, like you know, ram, you know, goat, you know, um, people who rare, uh, uh, um, what's it called, other type of animals now, pigs as well. Uh -huh. Make them make sure, say, they go do the same thing for them. And po uh, poultry, very, very important. Well, Hopefully, this is going to be for good. And people who are screaming, at least, I just want to believe, I want to say, ah, I want to pray that and hope that um, this is not something else apart from what we're saying. Like, there they do us, the more you look, the less you see. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for.